Hello and welcome to Spencer's Library. I'm Claudia and this is my bookshelf. This is my bookshelf where I keep all of my red books. But as you can see, it is also being used as a general dumping ground for all sorts of things that are not red books. So today I want to empty this all out, reorganize it, clean the bookshelf and get rid of all the crap that doesn't really go on there. That's all this video is going to be about. If you don't like tidying videos, if you don't like organizational videos, you might want to skip this one. But if you do stick around, you might want to clean up your own bookshelf while you're at it. You know, let's do this together. Also, what do you think of my Pride and Prejudice and Cat crossover themed t-shirt? If you like this t-shirt or if you like cats and classic literature in general, then check out the description box because there's a link to my shop where you can buy this and other cats and classic literature themed designs. Anyway, the first step to getting this sorted out is to empty out all of the books and all of the other stuff that's on this shelf. Let's get started. Okay, I said we're gonna empty out the entire bookshelf, but I don't have that much table space here. So let's do this row by row. Now you won't be surprised to hear that my bookshelf is organized by author surname, which in my opinion is the only true way to organize a bookshelf. So here we've got authors A to, I don't know, D-ish, B, I don't really know. Let's clean out that top shelf because you can't see it but it is rather dusty. Where did I put my cleaning cloth? Ah, oh, there it is. I am armed. Shelf number one is now dusted, so I wanna put all the books back and make sure that they are still in alphabetical order. This pile of books was, was actually just lying around in front of the bookshelf, as you can see. None of these belong on the top shelf, which goes from A to C. Some of the books that I've got on my bookshelf, I don't actually want on there. I do this, I'll call this like a lifelong project, um, which is my curated bookshelf project. And the idea of that is that since this is my only bookcase, this is the only thing I've got to keep and display my red books, I want to make sure that I've got books on there that I want to keep, that I want to reread, that I want to lend to people, that I want to recommend. And there are some books on there that I really don't care that much about. So in the interest of saving some space, I'm going to also do a little bit of a declutter, do a little bit of an unhaul. So, Three books are coming off the top shelf. Uh, the first one is this pretty cute book called Test Your Cat, Is Your Cat an Undiscovered Genius? The answer to which is no. Both of my cats are incredibly stupid. This is pretty cute, but I am going to get rid of it. Now, I don't know if I can actually pass this on to someone because I have written in this book in pen. Maybe not my best idea. But uh, yeah, this might just have to go in the recycling because I don't think anyone else is interested in the IQ of my cats. This is a pretty cute book called Magical Worlds of Harry Potter um, by David Colbert. And this is kind of a collection of little essays that take aspects of the Harry Potter books and then dive into the mythology and myth around them and this is really interesting I read this one I did really enjoy it but it's not the sort of book that I ever want to reread so I am probably going to take this one to the charity shop and then finally and this is a book that I have held on to for a long time this is a German children's book called Mein Vater wohnt in Rio which translates to My Dad Lives in Rio and um, I don't even remember whether I read this for school. I don't think so. I didn't really do much reading for school. I think this is just a children's book that I have had for probably around about 20 years. I keep my children's books that I'm very attached to, children's books that I reread, that I have particularly good memories of, but honestly, I don't even remember what this is about. So I don't think 
it is necessary for me to keep hold of this book. So, that was the top shelf done. I'm 12 minutes into the recording of this video. It's gonna be a long one. Okay, the second shelf is dusted. So first of all, let me show you all the crap that was on there that isn't a book. First of all, we have this pair of prescription glasses. Uh, as many people who wear glasses will know, your eyesight tends to get worse with age. So every couple of years I need a new prescription. And this is in fact a pair of glasses that I wore years ago with an old prescription. And I don't really know what to do with them. Do you know if there is any way of donating or recycling old prescription glasses? Because I really, really don't want to just chuck them in the bin. Um, if there is a better way of disposing of them. If, if there is anything that you are aware of, in the UK, then please let me know in the comments. Found a two euro coin, which is uh, a time of recording about the same value as a two pound coin. Brexit's great. And then I've got this pretty cute green wooden cat, which holds all of my euro coins. So this is going in there. Look at me on graduation day. Let's put all the books back on the shelf and see if there are any that I want to dispose of. Oh, I should have remembered which order I took them off. Okay, that's the second shelf done. And again, I have three books that I am getting rid of from that shelf. The first one is called The Pointless Book. And this was a Christmas present from one of Bill's uncles. Um, I think this is like... A YouTuber book from a YouTuber, Alfie Days, who I don't follow, I'm not subscribed to, I have no idea who he is. You know, it's one of those presents that you kind of get and you feel obliged to hold on to because it was a present, but I don't even know why this is on my red bookshelf because I've never read this and I'm not intending to read it, so I will unhaul this. The second book I'm getting rid of is um, this one called Writing at University, a guide for students. And this is just some kind of basic and generic advice about how to write academically. It's mostly for undergraduates. This served me well while I was an undergraduate, but I don't really need it anymore. I don't think I'm going to reference this for anything. And I know that if I, if I put this in a local charity shop, it will get picked up very quickly because I am in a university town. And then finally, I've got a um, Neil Gaiman book here, The Sleeper and the Spindle, Neil Gaiman illustrated by Chris Riddell. And this is a really beautiful storybook, really beautifully illustrated. And, um, oops, there's a bookmark there. It's a really gorgeous fairy tale romance style story. Uh, but I have read this. I did enjoy it. I just don't think I'm going to reread this. You might know I'm not the most artistically gifted person. I don't appreciate visual art as much as some other people do. So I just can't see myself flicking through this for the picture's sake. So I will also get rid of this and I know that someone else will enjoy this much more than I did. Right, oh, let's put the pictures back up as well. There's my graduation photo and there's my <laughs> prize that I got for my dissertation because I'm so talented. So that'll go back on the shelf. Uh, this is an egg that a friend of mine just kind of left here. I don't know why he doesn't want it back or whatever, but it's a rather nice egg. So, by the way, I should say this is this is made out of some sort of I don't know, marble or stone or something. So it's not like a chicken's egg that I just keep on my bookshelf. That would be weird. Let's tackle the third shelf. Oh, wow. There's so much crap on this third shelf. I think we have to clear that off first before I can even empty out the books. First up, we have two Magic the Gathering Funko Pops. I sound like I'm auctioneering in the moth, um, which I wouldn't mind doing, honestly, because I don't really care that much for these. But my husband does. We've got a Jace Beleren and we've got a Gideon Jura. So these are two planeswalkers, if you are familiar with the Magic the Gathering story. And um, I don't know why they're on my bookshelf. I believe my husband keeps a collection of Funko Pops at his work on his desk. So uh, Bill, if you see this, 
please take them off my bookshelf, thank you. The other things are all mine. So there's a spray bottle, which I use to spray my plants. And there's a moisture meter. This is actually a really useful little thing, right? I got this one off Amazon and it's it was under a tenner. And um, it's like, I don't know how it works. I assume by magic, magic or electric currents, one of the two. Um, you stick this in the soil of your pot plant and then it tells you if it needs watering. Let's take this gorgeous looking blue star fern and put the moisture meter in and it says, oh, can you read this here? It says that it is still moist. So don't need to water this one just yet. Next is this adorable framed photo of me and my school friends aged roughly 13. I'm the one in blue and uh, <laughs> it's pretty cute actually. My mum sent me this in the frame a while ago in a parcel I guess just so I've got something from home and um, I'll put that back on the bookshelf later because it's pretty cute. This is my book stand. Every German will have used one of these in primary school. Uh, I use this to read books while I have my breakfast. Let's clear out the third shelf. No, not you, Alexa. I keep finding these eggs. I keep finding these eggs. What do I do with them? I don't know. If I had like a little basket, it would be pretty cute. It's also not Easter. What am I going to do with these weird marble eggs? Okay, the books are back on the second bookshelf, third bookshelf, and two of them I am getting rid of. The first one is What If by Randall Munro. This is the creator of XKCD webcomic, and um, yeah, this is a pretty fun book, but like many non-fiction books, I'm not planning to reread this one. So, you know, put this in a charity shop, I'm sure someone else will love it. And the second one is New World Fairy Tales by Cassandra Parkin. This is a collection of fairy tale retellings, uh, short stories, which uh, I know a lot of people really love this book, especially on Booktube. This was pretty big a few years ago, but I just never really got on with it that well. So, unhauling. Right, I'm not putting those eggs back on the shelf, okay? I'm not putting the eggs back on the shelf. Yay, we're breezing through this. So only two more to go. Ah! Great. I'll clean it up. Ah, stop it. All of the books just fell all over the place. First up, we have this picture of my cat, Rex. Let me just dust this off so you can look at his adorable face. You can't really see because of the glare. Anyway, um, Rex is Minerva's, was Minerva's brother. He sadly died a few years ago after he was hit by a car. And that is why Minerva doesn't go outside. Um, well, she doesn't go outside off the leash. She does go outside on walks with me. But yeah, Rexy was a really lovely little cat. And um, Bill took this photo of me and him reading a book. From this shelf, I am going to get rid of two books. One of them is Wet Wisdom and Tiny Wimey Stuff, The Quotable Doctor Who, which is a pretty cute book. I'm a Doctor Who fan. This was a present. And it's just got some, some fun uh, quotes in it, like, You male chauvinist bilge bag, says Ace in Dragonfire. Ace was a companion to the Seventh Doctor, and she was pretty fun. So, um... This is a pretty sweet book. I enjoyed reading it, but I'm not going to reread it. So let some other nerd enjoy it. And then the second one is a German book, which was also present. This was from my brother, which is called Die Letzten werden die Ersten sein, es sei denn sie sind zu langsam, by Patrick Salmon and Quichotte. So this is like a little fun book of riddles, really clever riddles that are impossible to solve. And I really enjoyed this, but again, not the sort of thing you reread. So these ones I'm going to say goodbye to. Final shelf, final shelf. 
Mm. Yay, that's the final shelf clean. And this is the only book that I am getting rid from that. This is a collection of Oscar Wilde's plays. And Oscar Wilde is one of my favorite authors. I really enjoy his plays. However, I already have this complete edition of his works. So I don't need the complete edition of his works and then also a separate edition of just his plays. So I can get rid of this one. I think that's everything. Behold, my newly cleaned, reorganized and unhauled bookshelf. If you've been working alongside with me, then tell me how your bookshelf reorganization went. Uh, it's quite likely that your bookshelf is a bit bigger than this one. And um, maybe you're still cleaning. If you are, keep going. You're almost there. I'm gonna go make myself a cup of tea and then I'll put all of the unhauled books in a box and take them to a charity shop. Hope you enjoyed this tidying up video. If not, then I'm surprised you're still here. Thank you for watching. Bye.